everybody. Uh, I want to give you a quick overview on an outdoor shower. Some really simple ways to make it work and make it inexpensive. I want to kind of give you a quick rundown and show you what I did and see if it gives some ideas so you can make your own. So here it is. Uh, pretty straightforward. Basically I made a 2x4 frame and you've got latches that can come undone and both doors can swing out and then they actually can latch together. Uh, so that's the first portion of it. That's pretty simple. Um, one of the challenges that I had to think about was how to get hot water. I initially thought maybe a solar hot water heater and a tank and it just ended up seeming really complex. And then I realized that just inside the wall here I actually have a hot water line, a PEX line inside the wall in the crawl space. So I put a splitter on that and then connected uh, a spigot to that so that uh, we can turn it off in the winter, drain this PEX that goes over to the shower, and, uh, and but this can stay connected because it's, it's a non-freezing spigot. Um, and so then we have hot water outside and I've also found that the three-quarter inch pecs you can put in hose couplers so if you want to um, if you want to connect to the three-quarter inch uh, screw-on system uh, that, that you use for a standard exterior hose that these repair pieces that are like a buck fifty or something at Walmart are uh, they'll just slip right in. You can tighten it down with the hose clamp and have no leaks whatsoever. It fits perfectly. Uh, so I highly recommend doing that. Uh, then it's a modular system that you can kind of take apart. It's exterior. You can remove things as you need to and it's not official plumbing. You don't have to worry so much about freezing. Um, then, so I came over here. I ran one line from each of the connections down there uh, to here and then I just have quarter turn shutoff valves so you can adjust those as necessary to get the temperature you want and then those combined with uh, I don't know you'll be able to see it but I just used a T coupler for the PEX and then connected all that to an old shower head that we had laying around so all in all this whole thing cost maybe a couple hundred bucks uh, all the tin was from this the roof of the house that got replaced recently um, but I'll even show you it running there uh, so it's really handy if you're outside working in the field and uh, just getting too hot um, it's a pretty nice system and it looks cool on the deck uh, works great and like I said one of the big things is I wanted to make sure that we could drain it in the winter uh, because obviously in zone 7 here in Tennessee we still get freezing and we don't want to freeze any of this uh, and it's it's easy to disconnect and drain because of those hose connections that I showed you before so thanks for watching and uh, tune in for the next one thanks